Hello everyone, I am Dr. Srivanala. Today's topic is gangrene. What is gangrene? Gangrene is a form of necrosis of tissue with super added putrefaction. Three main types of gangrene. Dry gangrene, wet gangrene, gas gangrene. Dry gangrene. It is a type of gangrene which begins in the distal part of the limb due to ischemia. Etiology. Atherosclerosis, thromboangitis obliterans, that is Burger disease, Reynolds disease, trauma, ergot poisoning. Pathogenesis. Dry gangrene usually starts in one of the toes which is farthest from the blood supply containing so little blood that even the invading bacteria find it hard to grow in the necros tissue. The gangrene spreads slowly upward until it reaches a point where the blood supply is adequate to keep the tissue viable. At this point between the gangrenous part and the viable part, a line of separation is formed. Pathology Gross appearance The affected part is dry, shrunken and dark black resembling the foot of a mummy. It is black due to liberation of hemoglobin from the hemolyzed red cells which is acted upon by hydrogen disulfide produced by bacteria resulting in formation of black iron sulfide. The line of separation brings about separation between the gangrenous and viable parts. Usually the gangrenous tissue falls off if it is not removed surgically. Microscopic examination there is necrosis with smudging of the tissue. The line of separation consists of inflammatory granulation tissue. Wet gangrene. It is a type of gangrene occurring in moist tissues and organs such as mouth, bowel, lungs, cervix, ovula, etc. Examples diabetic foot, bed sores. Etiology thrombosis, embolism, diabetes, pressure. Pathogenesis. There is blockage of ven venous and less commonly arterial blood flow from the thrombosis or embolism. The affected part is stuffed with blood which favors rapid growth of putrefactive bacteria. Bacteria liberate toxin products which are absorbed into the circulation causing systemic manifestations of septicemia and finally death. Pathology. Gross appearance. The affected part is soft, swollen, putrid, rotten and dark. There is no clear cut line of demarcation between the gangrenous tissue and viable tissue. The affected part is dark due to liberation of hemoglobin from the hemolyzed red cells which is acted upon by hydrogen disulfide produced by bacteria resulting in formation of black iron sulfide. Mic microscopic appearance. The affected organ is stuffed with blood and there is coagulative necrosis. Mucosa shows ulceration and intense inflammatory infiltrate. Lumen contains mucus and blood. Gas gangrene. Gas gangrene is a special type of gangrene characterized by appearance of gas bubbles in the tissue. Etiology. Gram positive anaerobic gas forming Clostridium bacilli. Pathogenesis. The bacilli enter the body through open wounds, especially in the muscles, or as a complication of operation on colon, which contains Clostridium bacilli as common cell. These Clostridia produce numerous toxins, which produce necrosis and edema locally, and profound systemic manifestations if absorbed systemically. Pathology Gross appearance. The affected area is swollen, edematous, painful and crepitant due to accumulation of gas bubbles within the tissues. Subsequently, the affected area becomes dark black and foul smelling. Microscopic appearance. The muscle fibers undergo coagulative necrosis with liquefaction. Large number of gram-positive bacilli can be identified. A zone of leukocytic infiltration, edema, and congestion is found in the periphery. Capillary and venous thrombi are common. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe.